Hi, I'm Jerry Jamestown, and today we're gonna to talk about bell peppers. If you've ever Googled how to store bell peppers or how to choose bell peppers, you probably have come across the fact that there's male bell peppers and female bell peppers. Well, we're gonna talk about that, so let's get to it. So there's this whole idea that you can tell the gender of a bell pepper based on how many bumps, humps, whatever you wanna call them, it has on the bottom. So male bell peppers have three, and female bell peppers have four except for that's totally bullshit. Like actually you cannot tell the gender of a bell pepper because the bell pepper is just a fruit. It's a fruit of a plant and fruits don't have genders. Now the plants do, the species do. So bell pepper plants actually have both. So they come from the nightshade family like tomatoes and other vegetables. Those plants have both female and male organs in the flower. It's actually considered a perfect flower in that sense. So bell peppers, no gender whatsoever. The flower that produces the bell pepper has both. It has all genders, if you will. So the whole idea is, or the myth, is that the male bell peppers have three bumps, fewer seeds, don't taste as great. The female bell peppers have four bumps, more seeds, and are a lot sweeter. Well, like I said, that's not true. There's no such thing as a female or male bell pepper. And the reason that the female bell pepper probably has more seeds is if you're looking at a bell pepper that has four bumps, it's probably just bigger. It has nothing to actually do with the gender itself. So it's really important to know that there's absolutely no gender to the bell peppers and it has absolutely no effect on the flavor. The only thing you need to know is that the actual plant itself, the flower that creates the bell pepper, this fruit, has both. So there's probably Republicans somewhere trying to ban it from doing anything because it's all genders. But other than that, you don't got to worry about it. I'll see you guys next time.